Alright, we should be back. Alright, I forget what our next mission should be. Mm -hmm. I could do potions class. Yeah, let's do potions class. from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. <laughs> which he is. Nice. Our school has always acted on the best of our death. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Fine job brewing your first Wiganweld Potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office?
He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Mm, what should I say? I can make the professor angry, but make a student happy. I can. I don't know if it's a bad or a good thing. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Can you remind me what you needed again? I was hoping you could get me a Fwooper Feather from Sharp's office. It's the last ingredient I need to complete my potion. Potion should not be that color, Mr. Dowell. Memorandum date thirty first of December, eighteen seventy five, from Aurora Office. Subject Borgen and Berger Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Ooh. Sounds like Professor Sharp's on a new mission. Rebellion. I think I got everything I can. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganwell potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganwell potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Hmm. Cool. Here's the Fupa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Mm, something tells you this is not exactly going to end well. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Keep your potion station organized and free of clutter. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough.
And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it. Oh. Oh. Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Oh, I caused us to get minus points. All right. Why well, you don't help a Weasley? Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Mm, I doubt that. That I seriously doubt. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. All right. Relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. The interaction where he like destroys a suit of armor.
Don't mind that. The grass is just loading in. those for the room uh, for the decorations I do believe the room of requirement so. I wonder how much longer until we get our broom I mean I know it's along the main story path so I wonder how long how many more quests thought I saw something I could pick up intriguing this looks like far away in the woods ah, it is good to see you my friend hello Natty how are you I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade I am well but I have been worried about you my friend with Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. I Be think... Be on your guard. 
I think me and Natty are going to be the best of friends. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid <laughs> No, now you go. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. The collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Dang. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner, then so close to Hogwarts. <sighs> Are you all right? <sighs> I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. 
That started me thinking. What if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as the stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendiary The flames make the pyre sink. How interesting. Back where they started. Oh, I gotta do my specific order. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to and meet you, And do too. be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yes. No reason for us to run all the way back. How nice to see you, my young friend.
hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I... I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds... Horrible. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah. As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Well, now I'm just even more curious about your history, so. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Hopefully it does. I have to speak to nearly headless Nick.
I want to play Quidditch professionally when I'm older. I'd make a marvelous chaser. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I'm ready to take on all challengers. If I can find any. You. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Hmm. Wait, In how do you know about the book and that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Sure, we can work that mm. out. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon? Roast beef? Rotten roast beef? That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it, just right. One can almost taste it. Ah, mm. oh, I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. But you can't just float to it in the kitchen? Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Never will in the kitchen. Students. What could they want? Delicious food and what found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly you know makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Oh, my candy store. Interesting. Vivelio. a disgusting smell. Oh, I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely. But what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Mick sent you, didn't he? Help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Good 
goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Hmm. I didn't know that. That is interesting. Yeah, you would think that would make sense, because if you could just conjure the food, you'd have food everywhere. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. Well, you're just so nice that I might just do that. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Rebellion. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. Self living quarters. Ever, ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts house elves have created a cozy village like home for themselves among these barrels in the Hogwarts kitchens. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside, as house elves have an extraordinary magic of their own. House elves do really have a lot of amazing magic. Rebellion. Yeah, I'm not fixing that. Rebellion is a welcome treat. Delicious. I thought I collected this. Gear slots are full. What? How do I have full gear? Huh. I do. Well then.
I don't have a flu flame in this area. No. How do I not have anything along the way? Mmm, it smells glorious in here. trouble I take it not at all Finky sends her regards along with the rotten roast beef ah glad to hear it kind elf Finky now let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages this is all rather cryptic Sir Nicholas what's going on terribly sorry I'm getting ahead of myself Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Like Jackdaw, like the pirate? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, 
It, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sir, you jest. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you. If I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Well, thank you for the help. I'm sorry you can't join the hunt. They seem like jerks anyways. A wonderful name for games. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Nothing like the feeling of a breeze through my hair. Or so I recall. I guess I can't go to the quest area. Well, I don't want to lose something if the quest gives me it, so I guess I'll have to destroy at least one piece of gear. to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. 
begin! Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. That ghost said I should blast away to my heart's... I could do this too if I had a wand. I've never seen it played like this. How do you like that? Too, if I had a wand and a body, and then I would be the one to clean up this mess. Oh, what a are in order not too bad for a mortal now say what you need to say to old jack door here hmm? you've earned it nicely done but what's going on you're not a member of the headless hunt no i'm not sir nicholas said you might know the location of some pages i'm looking for merlin's beard i know precisely the ones you mean i pinched them from peeves how could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? I guess it wouldn't be a good one. Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. 
How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. <laughs> Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing... I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Whenever you're about. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. whenever you're about. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. That's not too bad. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. You have a sharp eye for fashion. So, does that just only show the stuff I don't have equipped? Okay, I guess so. Good, so I guess that means I can't sell the stuff I have equipped. So, that's good.
sure to stop by whenever you're about. Another adventure, are we? How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say, Intramuros. I think it's Latin, or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Hmm. You don't say. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and if I recall, a lake. Beauty. You've been very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> 
Why can't I hit you? Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to life. Hmm, yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that birdbath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. It's not ominous at all. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Can't explore. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. The 
those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. This place is Pavelio. Is there anything up here? The second time I tried it. Impressive. That must be where this all leads. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. If any of my spells will help me through this, incendiary. to go down so I'm assuming I'm not supposed to go this way. I'm not going to touch that in this here.
Revelio. I'm almost level 11, so I can almost put that on. I know I've heard. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Hmm. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, there we go.
If Jackdaw could solve this, I can I? Shame you're so foul. It might kind of be hard to get that trophy for a hundred hit combo. I'm assuming you'd have to do that in a battle arena unless you got a lot of enemies in one section. Something I missed. Oh, maybe that's something I can only get in that room. I can't be I can't match I'd be far away from How am I supposed to get that? Rebellion. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Oh. Whew, 
It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Yeah. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Revelio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Was it all a lie? Maybe. Revelio. 
Not a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. It's a nice robe. I like that. That's actually pretty cool. comes full circle. So wait, what the path I'm supposed to take down there then? You're a deadly great spider. Does that come with a different enemy?
Oh, I didn't mean to do two in a row. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Revelio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Just in time. Should I save? I don't know what happens if I die in like a boss fight, how far back I go. Getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Revelio. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room?
I was pressing dodge. in Gringotts and the restricted section. being protected. What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Rebellion. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic 
that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talent. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You, you have new talent points to spend in the talents menu in your field guide. Finally. You've earned talent points starting at level 5. You may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase your combat powers, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may only be spent once, so the number of talent talents you acquire will be limited. Return here often to see what new, new and powerful talents await you. Okay, so that's one of the four trophies for reaching a map chamber. And I don't know, I'm probably like five hours in the game, six, no, I'm probably like six hours in the game you'd have to play. If you skip like cutscenes and stuff, yeah, I guess you could get here in like five, four hours to do the other three if you create new characters. Okay, see, that's why I need to do two, two spiders at once. Wouldn't be in this one.
Is there anything over here that's good? That's probably good. the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Revelio. Depulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Right. Well, I'm going to call it there. Uh, thanks for checking out the stream. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, bye.